Guys, no big green screen intro. We're going to look at five interesting, kind of unique knives. We're going to start right here with this one just because, well, I want to. It is the Max Ace Knives Meerkat, and it is a definite, definite cool looking and interesting knife. This is a relatively small reverse flick, aperture flip only knife that this thing is brilliant it is a m390 blade that comes down nice and thin it's done nice and broad this is a beefy knife even though it's fairly small it's done in white g10 or g10 or micarta i'm not sure which hang on sorry about that it's in white g10 these are all newer knives to the channel so this thing is great you're looking at a nice shaped blade nice flat area with a bunch of belly even though this is thick blade stock on a relatively short knife this is beefy for a shorter knife it comes down to a nice behind the edge thickness on this m390 blade so the meerkat m nice pocket clip on this max ace makes some gorgeous gorgeous knives the action on it really snappy on this in hand just about the right thickness it's got this big pocket clip this kind of tall pocket clip but it come it contours down nicely in hand that you don't even notice it nice area here for your thumb you can get way up on it even though it doesn't have a choil it's got a usable area this is not like a lot of knives where they put this flat shelf that isn't functional you can get up on this right here with your finger and really power into things just a small little sharpening choil so if you're one of those guys that doesn't like choils when you get up on it you're not losing anything you've got full length of that blade like i said that area there just lets you drop in and cut even though it's a little bit shorter i'm i'm not i'm not feeling like i am losing anything with this three finger partial partial grip because my finger kind of drops onto that area here and it's comfortable in and out of pocket this thing has been great the striking look of this white g10 is great very few white knives have been on this channel and i love the way this looks the liners are completely hidden except for just at the lock and the lock up and action on it is great it just slams open Did you guys hear that listen i'm i'm just like you can't make it fail it just wants to open up i do have bigger hands so i'm having a little bit of trouble with this because it's not as contoured out but the the lock up on it is great once you disengage the lock it's great they did a pretty good job with everything on this beautiful backspacer on this and on a smaller knife like this i do understand why you would want a lanyard and why they did a lanyard hole instead of having it out the tail so overall just a beautiful unique looking awesome knife i think it's the colors that make it so unique let's move on to the next next one and it's the Ocaso Knives Solstice. And the second I saw this, Jared sent this to me. The second I saw it, I'm like, I'm probably going to hate this. It is a really, really thin knife. But Jared has done a really good job picking knives for me when he sends stuff to the channel that he thinks I'm going to like. This thing is awesome. You've got this beautiful clip point style blade that comes down nice and thin. This is almost like a dagger. It is not uncomfortable, even though it is relatively thin. The blade is done in S35BN in Taiwan. And even, even though it's a relatively narrow blade, it still comes down to a good, good edge that is functional. This is a knife that a lot of people will like because it doesn't take up a lot of pocket space. And the action on this is just absolutely ridiculously smooth. This is one of the smoothest knives I've had come in in a very long time. It's kind of unique because you have a titanium scale, titanium scale, and a steel liner. So it is a titanium liner lock. So it's a, it's, it's a, it is a titanium scaled knife. So that's kind of unique. You have one handle and then one scale. The backspacer is pretty cool. And then this pocket clip is reversible and it is super deep carry on something like this. It's great. You've got functional, functional jumping up here. And on something like this, a lot of people complain, oh, that the pocket pecker style pocket or a flipper tab. I don't dislike it on this because on this narrow knife, it now gives you a spot where you're not going to slide up over because this is just straight. It's pretty straight. You're not getting a lot of traction on this and it just makes it feel really secure in hand. And then this comes down to a super, super piercy point. This is an all around really cool, really interesting. I just can't get over how good the action is on something with, I mean, usually your smaller knives like this, the weight of the blade does not assist at all in the action. And this is just shy of drop shut. So really, really cool knife. If you can find one of these, I definitely recommend it. Even the pivot is really cool. It's got their, their name 
engraved in the pivot. So there you go, the Okasu Knives Solstice. Guys, you've heard me talk about Coffee Brand Coffee a bunch of times. I'm going to do it again real quick. Coffee Brand Coffee is a channel sponsor. They are a great company sponsoring small channels like mine, but they also are a guilt-free purchase because they do not practice any politics. They have a money-back guarantee, and they roast their coffee on demand. So if you're interested in it, my my link down below in the videos saves you 10% at checkout, sometimes more depending on what they've got going on as far as specials and sales. So go check them out. Great product. Thank you very much for sponsoring the channel, Coffee Brand Coffee. Let's get back to the knife. I couldn't avoid putting this one in. This is the CJRB frack. And this came back from Blade Show West with, I'm sorry, California Custom Knife Show with me. This thing is an epically cool knife. Just the overall profile on this is aggressive. It looks amazing. You've got this beautiful frag pattern. Brilliant pocket clip on this that just is great. This is a bigger knife, so you've got this, even this tall pocket clip does not at all turn into a hot spot. You have a beautifully shaped blade. This thing looks predatory and, and reptilian, but what you've got is a really functional, nice shaped blade. It's kind of a drop point. Uh, down into what would, you know, could easily have been a sheep's foot blade. I want to say it's like a modified Warrencliffe. These cool angular movements here on this blade are awesome. You've got a lot of good facets. It's done in one of CGRB's brilliant, brilliant budget button locks. And the action on this is great. Now, they do have several versions. Of this. this is the steel and AR PM9 version. They have a titanium S90V version. I almost took that one, but the way this one felt just was so much better. Uh, CGRB's AR PM9 is great, as is their S90. You got this big finger choil on here where you can get all the way up on this. This knife does not feel anywhere near as big as it actually is. You're looking at just shy, just shy of nine inches on the mat. And it doesn't feel that big. It feels very controllable, very easy. The reverse flick only on this just works. And then that big aperture on here gives it a really good look. The uh, frag pattern that's on this is just cut sharp enough to be tactile and assist in grip, but not sharp enough that it's uncomfortable or tears up pockets. They did a really good job of chamfering all the edges and corners of that to where there are no hot spots on this. And as I would always say, button locks being ambidextrous, you want a reversible pocket clip. And they did a great, great job by providing you with a reversible pocket clip. Another thing to mention, if you don't like this pocket clip, you can always replace it with the aftermarket titanium version that they are, that's on the Artisan and CGRB website. So I will have as many links to these knives as I can down below. Let's move on to the next knife. And it is the Citibin ST999 and S35B. And now the reason this is unique is one, it's just got a crazy look to it with this shredded carbon fiber and purple anno typically not a fan of purple on a knife but this just really works and then the other unique thing is this knife is probably the best $140 knife I've had it is super comfortable it's got this unique look it looks angular and square and everything really looks cool but it does not detract from comfort. You can get way up on it like this. That works like a finger choil here. You don't have a true choil if you're using this knife up here. Super thin blade on this. I actually used this in my comparison to box cutters because I wanted something that wasn't super expensive, but also had an incredibly good blade profile. And this does top flipper and for, and reverse flick on this. Does not have an aperture, but this fuller is great. And then the action is just ridiculous. Now, Citibin has been a company that is typically known for like their $50 budget knives. And I gotta say their $50 budget knives are amazing. This is uh, even more so. You don't really lose anything in their more budget stuff, but what you get on this are just some bells and whistles that are amazing. The action on this just cannot believe how smooth that is. It's just, just guillotine type of smooth. Uh, and then on top of that, they've given you a lanyard post without actually cutting a hole through this gorgeous, gorgeous knife. If this looks like something out of, like I said about another knife here recently, uh, the S, the RS Chaos by Vostid. It looks futuristic. It looks something like 
what you would see in a movie. And I love when companies are doing that, providing you with something that looks unique, looks amazing, but still is just an all around amazing EDC knife like this. I probably will be purchasing one of these in the near future. This is one of the, this is probably the best $140 you are going to spend this year if you buy this knife. So let's move on to the final knife because it is pretty fun. And it is the Cancept Knives Redis, which is a very interesting looking style Tonto. So it is a traditional style Tonto that comes down, but it's got this unique overall profile. This looks like, uh, looks like something out of Star Wars, to tell you the truth. This is done in S35VN, and this is ridiculously sharp. So this is a full frame lock done in titanium. One of their nice deep carry pocket clips on this knife, really comfortable on this one. Action on this is just ridiculous. The Cansep knives have never disappointed when it comes to action. It has got this, it's got this aperture in it that I'm not 100% sure I would use, but you can definitely reverse flick off the thumb studs. You've got this really straight handle that comes down, but a nice curvature here that widens up that gives it a very good feel in hand. You can get way up on it like this, nice flat spot on this. They did not go to the trouble putting a jimping because a lot of times jimping on one of these knives is gonna look out of place. The milling pattern on these handles are super, super cool. You've got a lot of weight reduction that's been done inside these handles, as you can see, which makes this, even though it's a fairly large, it's not large, large. I mean, it's a little over eight inches does not feel like it and it gives it a forward balance that I love in a knife. The action on it, just buttery smooth. Look at that. Just a jiggle and it drops shut. And they did not ugly up the knife with a big backspacer, or I'm sorry, a big uh, lanyard hole in it or in the backspacer. They could have went and put a, a, a hole in the backspacer. That would have been fine and gave you a post, but awesome, awesome so far. I, it's it's so unique in appearance that it's surprising how well it cuts because it definitely does cut very, very well. This, uh, this is, most of these knives have come from Jared over at Neves Knives. So if you don't follow Jared's channel, you absolutely should. Guys, I don't have anything else to say about these knives. Let's turn this around. We'll do some final thoughts and I'll send you out about your day. Yo guys, that is the sweet thing about when I get these packages from Jared because he gets so much stuff in. He kind of handpicks stuff that he knows is really going to hit my, my, I love it button and that's the cool thing about some of the new modern knives is you're still getting super functional knives that are unique and you can be more over the top with them and they can be awesome this solstice from okaso knives super super surprising how much i like this this thing is uh, it's an awesome little knife and it is so unique in its form and its factor but it's still functional and that's one of the great things i love it when jared sends me stuff it always reinvigorates me to, to enjoy making these videos so with that being said guys you know I dropped a sponsored ad in there. You can go down below. You can find my sponsors. I have got coupon codes built in or coupon discounts built into links for Coffee Mary Coffee and Tempered Trail. Doll Strong Knives, I do not have a discount, but they definitely are a big supporter of the channel. You can use coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, all lowercase at either one of those vendors. But you can also use that at Beyond EDC for a 40% discount, it's 10% at those other two, and then it's 10% as Rose, as well at Rosecraft Blades and Fair and Forge Knifeworks. That's crazy sharp, all one word, under uh, all lowercase. So I have got a bunch of links down below for vendors. That supports the channel. It's a big help. If you guys are gonna buy knives, please use those. I got Blade HQ, Knife Ship Free, GP Knives, and a bunch of other companies, including Vosteed, which have got so many good knives. Um, I have an Amazon store. Take that link, pin it to your browser. Join the community Discord that's down below. There's a link to it. It's just an open Discord. You guys can join. You can reach out to me through DM down there. Uh, you can post pretty much whatever you want in the various rooms. There's a knife chat section, a knife trade. And then I have a membership that is down there. It's tier-based, but everyone gets exclusive content. Everyone has access to the private Discord. Uh, Baseline and Premium guys are entered into giveaways that I do, and it's not cheap knives. They are good knives. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series as well. So check out the tiers, see what you want. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.